Hey everybody, welcome back and this is the second video for the three types of thermal energy transfer lab. This is for parts three and four. So if you haven't already watched parts one and two, that video will be linked in the description below. So check that one out first and then you can come watch this one. So anyway, this is parts three and four, three types of thermal energy transfer. Let's get started and I hope you enjoy. All right, so it is the next day now. I had to stop filming yesterday because the smell was just too bad. It smelled like burnt metal and it was just disgusting. So maybe don't try that at home. That was pretty bad. So anyway, this is part three, radiation, page 54, explore one. So here I have a heat lamp and I also have this, a radiometer. You see right here, this is a radiometer. It looks kind of like a light bulb sort of thing. There we go. So this is what a radiometer looks like. Just looks like that. And then there's like some veins on the top that can move around. And then I also have a thermometer attached to a beaker so that I can stand it up just like that. So I don't have to hold it here. And I also have a ruler over here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set the radiometer and the thermometer 20 centimeters away from the heat lamp. Make sure this is straight over here. And now let's measure 20 centimeters. So that is actually about, move that forward a little bit. There we go. So 20 centimeters, that's perfect. So it is 20 centimeters away from the heat lamp. So now we're going to take the temperature. So the temperature right now is about 16 and a half degrees Celsius, 16.5 degrees Celsius. So you can write that into your workbook, 16.5 degrees Celsius. Write that into your workbook, beginning temperature radiometer at 20 centimeters. All right, so now we're going to turn on the heat lamp and we're gonna wait three minutes. So here I have a timer and it is set for three minutes. So I'm gonna turn on the lamp, we're gonna wait three minutes and we're going to observe the radiometer and we're gonna see if these veins move around or spin around. So I'm gonna turn on the lamp. Three, two, one. Be careful here, don't touch the lamp while it's on. Start the timer. All right, so we're gonna wait three minutes. And if you look at the radiometer right now, you can see how it's actually starting to spin. Check that out. All right, so you can see the veins are starting to spin clockwise. See right here, it's been there's two minutes and 25 seconds left. About one minute remaining. One. Time is up, it's been three minutes. So let's check this out over here. The veins are moving a little bit, not that much clockwise. And yeah, not spinning that fast. And if we look at the temperature, it is 18 degrees Celsius for the temperature over here, 18 degrees Celsius. So that is the temperature after three minutes for the radiometer at 20 centimeters, 18 degrees Celsius. So I just put this back over here. So we're gonna turn off the lamp. All right, woo, yeah, okay. So now we're going to measure again, and this time we're going to place the radiometer at 15 centimeters. So let's measure this again. 15 centimeters is right there. Move this up as well. 
So there we go, 15 centimeters. Now we're going to turn on the lamp and wait three more minutes, and we're gonna see if the temperature changes. Right now the temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. All right, we're going to turn this on again. And start the timer. All right, so we're gonna wait three more minutes. One minute left. Three, two, one. It's been another three minutes. All right, so let's check this out. I can see that the veins are moving a little faster Clockwise, um, it's kind of like a windmill. It's moving clockwise and it's a little bit faster than before. The temperature, let's take a look. It is 20.5 degrees Celsius. The temperature now is 20.5 degrees Celsius. So write that into your workbook. Radiometer at 15 centimeters, temperature after three minutes, 20.5 degrees Celsius. And did the veins move? Yes, they did. So I'm going to turn this off again, maybe, well, oh, there we go. Now we're going to grab the ruler again, there we go. And we're going to, this time we're going to measure 10 centimeters. So we're going to move it even closer to the lamp. 10 centimeters is right there. Move this closer as well, just like that. That is 10 centimeters, maybe even closer. All right. That's 10 centimeters, we're going to take the ruler away. So the temperature for the radiometer at 10 centimeters is 20.5 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna turn the lamp back on and wait three more minutes. Three minutes on the timer. Turn the lamp on, three, two, one. And three minutes start. All right, so we're gonna wait three more minutes. One minute, 20 seconds left. Time is up, it's been another three minutes. So let's check this out. So the veins are spinning maybe even faster now, faster than the 15 centimeters. So that's pretty cool. It's again, it's spinning clockwise pretty fast. That's nice. Let's take a look at the temperature over here. The temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. 23 degrees Celsius. So you can see that right there, kind of hard to see. 23 degrees Celsius. All right, so we're gonna turn off the lamp. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, that's really hot. Kind of stinky. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So now your data table should look something like this. And now answer the following questions. Don't touch the light bulb, it's really hot. You might burn yourself. So you make sure you fill out your chart and also answer the questions that follow. And this concludes part three. 
now we have part four. All right, and finally, this is part four, which is which. So what's going to happen is I'm going to demonstrate each of the tasks on the left-hand side of page 55, and then you're going to answer if it is conduction, convection, or radiation on the right-hand side. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one is hot chocolate is stirred with a spoon and the spoon gets hot. So here I have hot chocolate powder mix, and here is my cup, and we have a metal spoon right here. Stainless steel. All right, so we're going to dump the hot chocolate powder in. Look at that. Okay, so that's the powder. Let's dump that in. With one hand over here. Okay, there we go. All right, I think that's all of it. And now we're going to dump the hot water in. So we have some boiling hot water. There we go, dump that in. All right, so right now the, feel, the spoon feels nice and cold. It is cold because that's, that's pretty normal. So I'm going to stir the hot chocolate right now. Right now the spoon is still pretty cold on the handle. Stirring the hot chocolate over here. Oh yeah, it's starting to steam up the camera. But there it is. So now after I stir the hot chocolate here, I'm gonna feel the bottom of the spoon here. And the spoon, ooh, yeah, ooh, that's really hot. I can feel that here, it is burning hot. I can't really touch it anymore, oh yeah. So that's really hot, so you don't want to touch that spoon after you stir the, the hot chocolate because it is, ooh, ooh, really hot. So that is the hot chocolate getting stirred with a spoon, and the spoon just got really, really hot over here. Just look at that. Even the spoon is steaming. Look at that. So there's the super hot spoon right there. Ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, so that's it for this one, and on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is the sun warms your skin on a cold day. So it is super cold right now, and there's not much sun, so I'm gonna use a heat lamp. I'm gonna put my hands in the heat lamp. Don't touch the heat lamp. This is really warm. Oh, yeah. So just pretend the heat lamp is the sun right now. The sun is... There's a little bit of sun over here, but it's not doing much. It's kind of cloudy today. Oh, yeah. Nice and warm. All right. Oh, feels good. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is macaroni rises and falls in a pot of heated water. So we're cooking up some macaroni over here. Kind of hard to see it rising and falling. Um, well, maybe we turn it down a little bit. All right, so you see the macaroni right here. It's not really moving up and down that much. Maybe we should come back later. So there we go. We can see a little bit of it. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is you burn your hand by touching a hot stove. So we just used this uh, stove not too long ago, so it's still kind of hot. So I'm gonna touch it here. Do not try this at home, because you will burn yourself. So do not attempt this. This is for educational purpose only. So we're gonna Touch the hot stove here. Ah! Ooh, that's hot! Yeah! Ooh! Ooh! Check that out! Ah! Okay, so I'm not, do I'm not doing that again. But that is me burning my hand by touching a hot stove. On to the next one. Okay, so the next one is you warm your feet in front of a fire. So I got the fireplace going over here. It's not a real fireplace, but it's good. It's actually really warm. Don't want to get too close right here. Yeah, very warm, that feels good. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is a hot air balloon rises. So I don't have a hot air balloon. So here is a video of a hot air balloon rising. So let's check this out.
so we can see how there's lots of hot air balloons and you can see how the hot air is making them rise up into the sky very cool all right on to the next one all right so the next one is the air near the ceiling in a room is warmer than the air near the floor so right now on the first floor of my house it is 63 degrees so now let's go check upstairs and then here upstairs it is 65 degrees and the heater did not turn up turn on up here we just turned on the heater downstairs and the heat actually rose up to the second floor here so it actually feels a lot warmer up here even though the heater did not even turn on over here okay let's move on to the next one all right, so the next one is the material in a lava lamp rises and falls. So here is a clip from part two, Convection, where I showed the lava lamp. We're just going to take a look at it one more time. You can see how the material inside the lava lamp, the blobs go up and down. They rise to the top and then they fall back down. So we're just going to take a look at this for a few more seconds. I'm going to just check this out. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is the sidewalk increases in temperature on a sunny day. So I got a thermometer right there, and we're going to see the temperature difference. So what I'm going to do is turn on the heat lamp. But first, we want to see the temperature right here. The temperature is 9 degrees Celsius. 9 degrees Celsius. Just take a look at that. nine degrees celsius so it's pretty cold out here nine degrees celsius put this thermometer back down all right perfect so now we're going to turn on the heat lamp and we're going to wait a little bit there we go and now let's just wait a few minutes okay so it's been about five minutes now we're going to check the temperature again the temperature is 10 degrees celsius the temperature, take a look there. We have 10 degrees Celsius, check that out. So the temperature went up about one degree. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm, that feels really good. But the temperature is around 10 degrees Celsius, so it went up one degree. Oh yeah, that's really warm, feels good. 10 degrees Celsius, so yep, it went up one degree. All right, on to the next one. And finally, it is the sidewalk burns your bare feet in the summertime. And once again, it is winter time right now, so it is really cold. It's probably going to freeze my feet, but let's see right here. The heat, the heat lamp has been on for about 10 minutes now. All right, so let's try this out. All right, so let's see here. It's probably still going to be cold. This is what's going to happen if it is the summertime. Ow! Ah, 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 ah. That's so hot. No way. Okay, so I just burned my foot right now. That's very hot. Let's try that again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hot. Okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that is the sidewalk burns your bare feet in the summertime, or what's supposed to happen. So, if you go outside in the summertime, this is what's going to happen. All right, so that is the end of this lab. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the longest lab I have ever made with all these different parts. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey everybody, that's a fail. Just like that, 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 just like this, just like that. <laughs>